Okay, so hi there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy, from In The Stars by Christy.com. So, um, uh, we are looking into a spread today along with a shamanic uh, messages um, that you can see over here. And um overall this is more of a very tricky time i would say to a lot of taurus people not really tricky but you are at the point of a breakthrough or you are at the point of a situation or a part of your life wherein something has to change but you you don't exactly know how to go about it or what you should do about certain things we do have here the card of discernment, the death card, and the inner journey. And then we also have here the the growth card, and then transformation card, and grounding. So, you know, overall we are seeing here a theme or in something that has to change, something that has to end maybe, or is also a situation wherein you are you know it is that moment wherein you are about to to cross a to cross a road basically but uh you, you don't know exactly where it is going to lead you but you 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 have a goal in mind that you want you know and there's a lot of hesitations that we are picking up here so that is really uh, the biggest theme i feel is that you do have a goal in mind but there's a lot of hesitations around you and the main the main um uh, i would say achievement uh, that you would want to have is to to get that stability and happiness in in your life overall so let us see what's going on for you guys as this is just the theme and messages that might be you know coming through for the month of may but how things actually unfold is, is going to be a different story overall um again before we begin this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every Taurus people out there so just keep that in mind and um yeah uh if you do want a more personal reading there for your own situation specifically done for you you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by crazy.com but for now let's first check in what's going on with you the center card is like uh, the focal energy point of what's going on with you taurus and we have here the page of swords and just like what i mentioned earlier there's a lot of hesitations and confusions now the page of swords is really more of a situation wherein this is a person that is very wary about certain things and for you this could be a relationship there could be something that you are unsure about a relationship maybe you have some form of thoughts in the relationship maybe you have other plans or maybe there is something that you are worrying about in a relationship setup you know because we do have here the nine of swords and the moon card and together this is more of a situation wherein if someone is worried someone cannot sleep uh, uh, this is also a situation wherein maybe you are becoming too emotional uh, with your own situation as well you do have the the six of cups over here and the queen of cups so uh, you, we do have a lot of water energy here and an energy wherein you know is something has something caught off guard and you know something is being shaken something um me there's some form of panic and worry that i'm picking up in this reading and maybe for some of you there were a lot of tears and there could be some form of disappointment here and there i'm not exactly seeing as if someone is intentionally hurting you but there could be some form of unexpected circumstances that that had led things one way or another for you to be hurt or for you to be having some form of um trust issues during this time we do have the nine of pentacles the six of cups and the emperor card so we are seeing that there could be uh, a certain person a certain man into this situation you're definitely you know it's not telling us that you are out of reach with that person it seems as if they are existing in your life 
Uh, but um, maybe, you know, I would say that this is more of an unintentional um, kind of a situation wherein maybe they just, ha they might have commented on uh, quite a few things towards you and maybe it, it, it feels like a tactless comment, uh, something that they did not even think about, but for some reason has hurt you and uh, maybe it has hurt you to a core to a point wherein you are really really disappointed with whatever that was uh, for some tourist people this could also be a situation wherein maybe you're single and maybe you're longing for someone and maybe you have you are longing for for a relationship or a specific man in your life and you know this could be you um thinking of when is your mr right gonna come along and all of those kinds of things so um i would say that uh this situation can can differ to um depending on how you are going to see it depending on what is really happening in your own personal situation but um i do know for a fact that you know this is more a, a very emotional time for a lot of tourist people and a time wherein you know that something is out there for you but at the same time you're not having it yet and uh, that moment of waiting and that moment of not having it and that frustration is actually something that that is um giving you this agitation kind of a feeling and at the same time there's you know a feeling of being lost being confused and feeling really conflicted with certain things as well we do have the tower card over here the queen of cups and the ten of cups so the fact that we have here the ten of cups over here gives me a feeling of some form of you know maybe some form of happiness or some form of positive situation can come about um maybe in the future in the near future or maybe uh, some form of surprise might be coming up for you as well or you could be meeting someone very special you know <laughs> uh, which can happen since if we take a look at the a look at this this way we have the emperor the moon and the ten of cups so this could be some form of happy surprise that might come along or um if someone visits you at night and um that can create some form of a f uh can give you some form of a sigh of relief i would say uh with whatever you're going through but i just kind of feel that like the beginning of may can create some form of a stumble block for a lot of you tourist people um and uh, because of some form of unexpected circumstances and you might be thinking and seeing things in a very in a very negative way as well again you do have the page of swords here and you do have the queen of cups so there could also be situations wherein you might be extra sensitive like you are too sensitive than how you are so it's like being extra extra sensitive i would say it's like um might, maybe they have mentioned something offending and maybe it is something that you should be heard about but i just kind of feel it gives me that feeling we're in you're feeling it in a very exaggerated manner so how you are acting is a bit more exaggerated than how you should as well but um there's going to be a lot of realizations that comes with this and it is going to make you reflect on what it is that you want and maybe you're going to be asking some people about their views on on this topic for you to understand it but uh, i just kind of feel that there's going to be a certain point in your life wherein you're not going to see things very clearly so um i would advise you guys to um to to find someone that you can really talk to you know and you don't always have to seek the answer with that person if that person is confusing you but call in with a friend you know call in with someone that you trust that can give some insight into your situation because maybe all you needed to to have is a, another 
opinion, an opinion from another person, an advice of a friend, and that could help and stabilize you as a whole. Um, it's not easy, but um, I feel that there could be some form of patterns in your in your life and in your love life, for that matter. That um, that that gives that tendency for you to go in certain patterns in your love life and relationships that that keeps on repeating from histories in your past relationships and this is going to be like a perfect time for you to to outgrow that situation and to learn um from whatever mistakes or assumptions that you had in the past this is a time wherein you can actually correct things so that you know there's going to be some form of maturity in the air at the same time i also feel that the other person is at the time of maturity i would say and since we do have the moon here um there is a possibility that the influence of the new moon in taurus could be another factor for a lot of you taurus people it could be that hey you might meet someone new you might have a new beginning a, a eureka moment maybe uh I would just advise you guys to be careful with your emotions because they are uncontrollable and you might not be thinking quite right because yeah it's so nice to hear a new moon right but technically what is a new moon the new moon is like when the moon um uh has a new beginning overall you know it's a reset and a refresh you know it's a new start and with a new start it makes the moon become invisible as well so i would say during those time is going to be very tricky for you very um, sensitive time as well so i would advise you guys to not take things too personally because maybe that person did not really think about certain words or things too much and if you are not happy with what you have found out what you what you learned i think the best way to handle this is to really talk to them and instead of hiding what you are feeling and then getting confused and making a different form of assumption in the process so the best way for you to attain your own happiness is to actually be mature enough to to talk to them in a very diplomatic way to communicate and to clear things out and i would say that it's going to be perfect because as we end the month of may we do have uh mercury going re uh mercury retrograde happening in the sign of gemini which is <laughs> going to activate your communication um communication sector as well um for some people and i mean if we're taurus rising this is going to be happening in your second house or third house maybe um so it really depends but overall if it's happening in your second house this is going to deal with your emotions um and how you feel safe in a relationship what is your security level in a relationship and you know all those things needs to be addressed during this time as well and if you're an aries racing and this is going to be happening in your third house so you will need to um clear up some form of misunderstandings if ever um for um in terms of your love life and relationship and that way that can you know kill the silence kill the uh the bitterness and moments of confusion in terms of your love life and relationships this can also be a time wherein if you are you know uh, i would not advise you guys to to keep all of the anger and resentment inside of you because that's going to be difficult for you to handle later on um, especially when you're feeling things a little bit too much so um anyway this is my reading for you guys taurus so you do need to be careful about certain things you are going to be very emotional this month um i would say that um to not put your guard way too high and try not to be too stubborn as well and you know 
I would say that, you know, no one is intentionally hurting you, but you do need to be aware that they are human too. So you will need to have to adjust and forgive them um, if it allows. But anyways, this is my reading for a lot of you Taurus people out there. I do hope that this gives you insight and clarity to your situation and what might be happening for you this month. If you do want a more personal reading, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website and it's and I'll see you guys again next month.